profoundly immoral and wicked. You know what that's the definition of? Evil. And what, what is the true origin of evil? That's a good question. What's the true origin of Tear's evil? I really don't know. Maybe we'll find out. What has caused him to continually ruin my life with false narratives, with lies, with deceptions, as I talked about last time in the downfall of Taylor Field. He is writing a fictional story and making it my reality. But the good thing is, the story is not over yet. There's been a lot of things that Taylor Field has done to create a story, but I'm here to change the story. I'm changing my story, changing the story of Geekverse. I will not let him be the author of the fictional version that's known of Travis Snell's life. And I thought I need to take a different approach this time, you know? And when I talk about evil, and I talk about the origins of evil, I really got to go back and say, I wonder where it all started. And I don't know where it all started for when he was born. I don't know where his parents conceived him, of course, you know. But I do know where at least he resides now. I do. And that's the good thing about being a friend and a confidant over these years, even though he's put me through a tremendous amount of trauma, even being his best man. You know, you learn things about a person. Like where they keep the keys to their house. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness, I am in Mr. Field's household. Look at this. The fake doctor's note that he gave me a couple weeks ago. It's pretty interesting. And no, folks, I'm not here while Taylor's here. I'm here all on my lonesome. Let's take a little tour of the origins of evil. And here I am. I am in Taylor Fields' household. Buddy, you know, I've only I haven't been here in a bit, but you got to change where you put your keys. You never know who might find them. It's a whole, all those nerdy stuff, all these posters that I'm sure man's have ripped down. Oh, look at that. Look, it could... Oh. Oh, oh no, I don't want to break the stuff that could get me sued. Just want to break his bones, body, everything like that. But uh, yeah, we're here in the field household. No one's here. I'm all alone. Oh, now we're walking. Take a look. Oh, look, this is where this is where his little cats must lay and stuff like that, eh? Oh yeah. He's gonna need a bed like that for all his different body parts. Oh, and there's a balloon. It's a teen's first birthday. Maybe we'll find her in here. Stay in the washroom. No, he's not in there. No, he's not in there. Oh, laundry out there. Oh, there's a cat. There's a cat. Yeah, more of a dog person, but there's a cat. There you go. Gotta be quiet. Someone might be sleeping. We don't know, right? Might not. Oh, I think I see the bedroom. It's where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. Babies, baby. Oh no, I'm joking. There's no baby. But that's the thing, Taylor. You never know what can happen, and that's why I think it's just best that you agree to doing one more match. Cause you might have moved your keys, but maybe someone makes a copy of those keys. I know every inch of this place. I see all the windows. You would not want someone like myself, who has an ulterior motive, to be on the loose. Oh. You never know.